Thanks for joining us on the Job and Dola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service. We are joined by the Hazleton area Cougars head football coach, Dennis Buckman. Uh, Dennis, congratulations on, uh, on being the head guy there at Hazleton area. Uh, talk a little bit about um, the pressure uh, of being a head coach, obviously, in, a, in any year like this. But I'm sure you have some good feelings like, hey, uh, you know, I went through this program at Hazleton area, and now I'm going to give this a shot and, and see what I can do with this program. Oh, 100%. I mean, first of all, I'm excited. I'm, I'm definitely humbled to um, be part of this program as a player, as an assistant coach, and now as a head coach. Um, I don't really feel there's pressure because of the incredible people I have around me from our staff, our administration, and most importantly, our players. Um, we have some really special players in our program that are becoming young men. We've established a really nice culture in the time we've been here so far. Uh, we tell our players all the time that they need to trust, love, and commit to one another and this program. So ultimately, I, I'm really excited. I, I mean, every day we get to come to work is a blessing here. Uh, we have a mantra at Harmon Geist now, protect the den. Um, it's the stadium where we eat, sleep, and breathe, you know, so to speak. And we uh, every day we get to come to practice, we take that and we want to stack product, uh, productive days on top of each other. Well, back in the day uh, when you were a player, uh, you had some productivity with uh, the head coach, Rocco Patron, and now the principal at Hazleton area. Uh, he's a tough guy. He's got a challenging job. He was a tough guy back in the day as a coach, yeah. um, but I'm sure in many ways a mentor. Talk a little bit about um, you know learning from Coach Patron and some of those other coaches and and guys around Hazleton area that are so passionate about, you know, making sure you were a good student athlete, passing that on now to the young men. Oh, sure. I mean, first of all, with Coach Patron's mentorship and more importantly, his friendship. I, I know he's somebody that I can contact at any time um, with any questions or just to be able to, you know, talk about any situations that are going on. I also think he's one of the first to tell you that he also had really good people around him and i'm also excited to have those great people around myself as well um one of his right hand men so to speak and coach drumheller is on the staff you know on our staff now which is really you know something that i take pride in that we have uh, another guy who's a former head coach um coach brennan who i was able to coach under as an assistant I, his uh his track record speaks for itself, two state championships, but more importantly, you know, all these people who have been involved in the program and who I've been fortunate enough to be around and be under and coach with, they're more importantly, they're incredible men. And they do great jobs with not only programs and football, but with our youth. And they are able to continue that success in anything that they truly do. How about being the right guy for their job? You seem like, you know, you're very enthusiastic. You went through the program. You're very grounded and humble. All those things that you need to be, and yet you had those influence of all those people. So uh, talk about, uh, hey, you're called up, man. You got the call. You're the guy. Absolutely. I, I mean, it, it's uh, like I said, I, I said this from the get-go. The day that we were hired, uh, the honeymoon phase ended quickly, uh, okay? And m my mindset and our staff's mindset, and immediately I made sure after I, I contacted those people who, you know, meant the most to me in terms of my immediate family, the next phone calls that were made were to the players. Um, we stayed consistently together, even through the process of, you know, Coach Brennan leaving our, our program, we continued to work in the weight room. Um, until we were shut down with the pandemic, there was energy, there was there was trust, there was an incredible sense of, you know, we're going to stay together because we're a family unit and we're going to continue to get better and better every day. So, uh, I mean, the players never wavered. Um, I obviously have never wavered and I, I felt comfortable in not only my abilities, but those who we were going to bring into the program. In talking to, to coaches in recent weeks, it's, you know, it's not really about, hey, what are we doing to win? It's about, number one, safety. So let's talk a little bit about the, the protecting the den and, 
and getting those guys on the same page with you. Guys, there's a lot of things we need to do right as coaches, as players, in our family. And they kind of have to show a little bit of that leadership role, whether it's within the locker room, in the community, at home, at school. There's there's a lot of lessons to be learned here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we talked about obviously the sport of football is a commitment in itself in any other year, but especially this year. Um, we, we tell the players that that level of commitment is going to go up exponentially because of the surrounding things that are taking place. We've been practicing now for nine weeks. And I mean, I think that product speaks for itself, but we ask a lot out of our players. I mean, even this week with heat week, every day we ask our players to make sure that they're wiping down their equipment. Um, They're taking their jerseys home, their girdles, they're getting them washed. Uh, After we're inside our field house, we wipe everything down. I mean, we take a great sense of pride of you know, what we have. We feel that we have top-notch facilities and we want to make sure that we take care of those. And we also want to make sure that we're doing everything we can on our end that we can continue this process of being together each day. Back when you played, we go back to, you know, the early 2000s or, you know, almost 2005 or six in that area to 2020 and, and time's flying along and getting student athletes interested to play the game of football and at such a big school at hazelton area reaching out to some of those groups hey can we get you interested can you come to practice want to see what the game of football is all about um that's going to be a constant i'm sure for you to to keep promoting the good word of the cougars 100 mm-hmm. percent. and i mean ultimately I feel that the players that we have right now, our program is second to none. And I tell our players that all the time in terms of the way that once again, that we're together, we trust, love and commit with one another. Uh, We start every day with I love you and we end every day with I love you. And I think that's special. And you know, you don't have that everywhere, but in our program, we do have that. And we know that there's accountability, but there's also a great sense of responsibility to our community, to our program, and to one another that it's also time now, as long as we can get this show started, so to speak, that we start putting wins um, in that left column. Let's talk about that final. That's the final question we're going to have for you. What can we expect here in 2020 from the Cougars? Do you feel like, hey, we got some guys up front that, that have some experience back. We got a couple skill guys that we feel will get the job done. What would be the overall theme this year for the Cougars when you guys are hopefully able to hit that field? You know, I, I tell the players all the time, I'll never put a number mark or I'll never tell them where their ceiling is because they're just an incredibly special group. But what I will tell you and the expectations we have each day and we've continued to get better every single day that we've been together, we, as you said, we have a great group up front. We take pride in our leadership that we have up front on both sides of the football. We have some really nice young skilled players. Um, We had five freshmen who saw meaningful time last year who've only gotten bigger, stronger, faster as sophomores. And you couple that with the senior talent that we have at those skill positions with the Kevin Moluskis of the world, who's going to be our H-back inside linebacker playing Mike for us. Dante Mattarella, who's a really steady player and continued to only get better last year and has really jumped off the charts this year. Evan Mattias is that leader with that receiver group. The only senior that we have truly in that receiver group that has played meaningful minutes. I mean, you, you look at that group right now and you see sophomores everywhere and juniors and it's exciting because the great thing about sophomores is they haven't even scratched the surface yet. So um, we have some really special talent. Um, but as, as I tell the, the players too, with great expectations comes great responsibility. And I feel that we have a responsibility to everyone that's affiliated with our program to make sure we're doing our part each and every day. Dennis Buckman, it's a pleasure to catch up with you. Congratulations on that new gig. I know you're very passionate about it. Great to hear that passion from you. And we wish you and your team there in Hazleton area the best in safety, health, and a positive season there for the Cougars. Mr. Mandola, thank you. Have a good night. You too.